Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new. And welcome to Five Nights of Candy Sugar Rush. A recode of the original Five Nights of Candies. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what the... What was changed and all that. So yeah, let's just hop right in and see it together I suppose. Uh, help wanted. Candies, burgers, and fries. Family restaurant looking for security guard to watch the night shift 12 to 6 a.m. I see it still has that in here. I don't get why more games just don't implement the click to continue thing, but... Then again, it is kind of nostalgic at this point. You have one new message. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, Junior Manager here. Uh, so you're the new security guard, right? Yeah, it's, it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know? <laughs> Uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know? Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway, I think you're gonna fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras. And the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision oh, is that accurate. You fell asleep. But it it is your fault. Colors, which is good, I guess. Okay. Um, you can talk okay. in the night vision <laughs> just went by right back to normal. the camera you're already on. And, uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during a night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk, too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here, but the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power-driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep. And have a good night. <laughs> Man, this does really and truthfully take me back to 2015 <laughs> when this game first released and watching Markiplier play it. Oh, God, that was almost a decade ago. Bruh. <laughs> How time flies, huh? Oh, dear. So this night's going to be relatively slow, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's the first night, so I don't really expect too much activity um, happening from our robotic friends. <laughs> if you can really and truthfully consider them friends. But, yeah. You know, I never really understood how they got a button to not only placed right there on the desk, but also fully operating operational for the window like <laughs> the door buttons on the left and right make sense because they're right next to them uh, I do kind of want to take back what I said about them being not that active 
Where is Candy? Hello? There's Cindy. Where is he? Like, <laughs> like he's just gone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I look away for like a minute and they're just rampant in here. Uh, he can't go to any other cameras besides one and the rest down here, right? There you are. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess the both of them were on the same cam, so that's why I couldn't see them. Oh, that freaked me out for a moment because I was like, oh god, where is he? <laughs> and I was like, oh god, I already lost him and I might die. Night one. That would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, we got this. It's in the ba- Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hello, Cindy. Guess not who you were. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, shoot, that might be our luck at this point. I don't know. Oh, you're still there. Okay. Gotta be a little careful with that. Okay, Candy is starting to approach. So you gotta be a little careful with that. Alright, so she should be... Oh, she's back on stage, okay. For a second I thought she was going to be in Cam 12, or more so the dining area. Party... Party room, whatever. <laughs> dining area, party room, whatever you would like to call it. But yeah. Bruh. It feels so weird being back on this game. And it's weird... Radio at... <laughs> Ratio aspect. <laughs> oh dear. That's like the crazy thing about this game is the fact that it's so squished. <laughs> it really is. I like how even though this is like a recode of the original candies, they kind of like kept it the same for the most part. As far as I'm aware, the uh, subtitles weren't a thing in the original, correct? So that's kind of a new feature. At least, it, like, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but I think those are new to this. Um, I know that that was something in the remaster that came out in, what, 2019, give or take? Around that time, 2018, 2019? Okay, oh, there you are. I was about to say, Candy, stop, stop disappearing on me, homeboy. Like, that's the thing. It's like, it's night one, I don't need to... Worry about y'all disappearing on me now. <laughs> Night three onwards, I'm fine with that because it's just. But like, with how slow it is, I really don't need to be. <laughs> you know, it's like, right? How? <laughs> Where are you going? But yeah, like it feels interesting. Lately, oh, yeah, sorry. Need to wake up some apparently. <laughs> But I was gonna say, it's just, it feels like a slight revamp of the game we've kind of grown in love, you know? Dude. You know, I'm actually kind of, <laughs> oh, that's ironic. I didn't even realize how close we were. I knew it was five, just didn't. <laughs> Let me shut the door on your face while you're, while you're about to go back to stage. But I was gonna say, I wonder if, like, Kane wasn't a- Not Kane, sorry, wrong person. Kane is the Pop Goes developer. Uh, Emil, right? I wonder if he would have made a remaster to High Reverse Puppet. How do you say Puppet backwards? I feel like that's definitely how you would pronounce your name. Hi. <laughs> But I was going to say, though, uh, I wonder if K uh, God, I keep mixing them up. Emil. I wonder if he would have made a remaster for Candies 2 and 3. Or at least Candies 2 if the fan first wasn't initiated. initiated. There you go. That's a word. <laughs> that is a word. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see? I told you you'd do just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention, uh, we, we have this little, um, I mean, uh, list yeah, of, I guess we uh, are. <laughs> Except for homeboy uh, disappearing. Uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. 
Uh, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get, uh, Hi, Chester. Uh, if you hear anything. Let me see. Okay, um, he's on this cam. The animatronics now, now I know. sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, sometimes in the morning we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see. Some of their oh, okay. sensors are a bit wonky. Uh, and, and, oh, and in case the animatronics is experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but it, it doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It, it's, it's weird. If, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Um, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly around adults. Uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's still oh, way yeah, in I the forgot. back until no, I guess I remember. Okay. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at a distance and uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night. Yeah, I forgot. For a second I thought he was talking about the uh, little post-night cutscenes or whatever you like to consider them that we see with the feet and stuff where it's like, oh yeah, hey, guess what? This is how this happened with the animatronics. <laughs> Why they tried to attack us in the air. But then I realized, like, wait, it's actually talking about the uh, incident with Old Candy. Completely forgot about that until just now. It's been so long since I've, like, delved into the Candy's universe that it's just, like, certain details have just kind of left my brain. <laughs> so it's just like, hold on, wait. Oh, that makes sense. Also, I, I still can't get over, like, this, uh... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Check that side real fast. Why are you... Aw, oh, Candy, I wanted you... That would have been cool. I was gonna... <laughs> I would have liked to see him come on the left side. That would... I don't know why. Like, I know it doesn't really change much. Okay, can Cindy apparently has a higher... camera priority over him. I was like, where did he go? Oh, wait. <laughs> he kind of clicked. I was like, oh, that's why. But I was going to say, this uh, cut uh, cardboard cutout looks a lot like Tom from Tom and Jerry. And I always kind of see that. Like, these, you can tell, like, okay, that's Candy and Cindy. But then that one looks a lot like Tom. Which, actually, now that I think about it, it it's meant to be old Candy, isn't it? Okay, now I'm just straight up confused. Where is Candy? Unless they somehow both moved at the same time, he is... He's straight up gone. <laughs> he left the building and it went to, like, McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> Would you like a beast jerk? <laughs> That's, like, the first thing I thought of. Just beast jerker. I, oh, hi, there you are. Okay, yeah. I <laughs> At this point, it's like, if you can't find candy or any of them, really, just know that they're probably hidden behind somebody else. <laughs> Hid they're, they're probably still here, it's just not... A they don't show up. They... <laughs> But that's not as fun, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just saying, oh, they're not showing up on cams does not sound that fun. 
Now saying that they left to go get some... <laughs> go do their own thing sounds a lot more entertaining. Of a thought to think, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost the end of the night, actually. That's the thing about like the early nights in most games of this style. They just start out super slow and then all of a sudden just... <laughs> like they ramp up like a roller coaster and it's like whoa okay hold on but yeah we're not really using a whole lot of power which is kind of surprising kind of figured we'd be using up more than just one bar by 4 a.m but then again not a whole lot's happening plus if anything i mean every character here just kind of shows up at the door so we don't need the cams <laughs> so i mean technically speaking we could just ride it out for the rest of the night, just do our own little thing. <laughs> Once again, I thought he disappeared. I was gonna say, where did he go? He just simply went to the left side. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, there you are. So, 9, 2, and 7. Never mind, not 7 anymore. Two and nine, uh, eight. Two and eight. <laughs> it's like, wait, hold on. It's like, I'm seeing stuff, and I'm not seeing stuff. <laughs> I was like, wait, am I seeing him? Am I seeing two Chesters, or what's going on here? Nah, he just moved. That's, <laughs> this entire playthrough so far has been absolutely fascinating. Like, they, sometimes they do that. Either they're moving fast or skipping cams. Which, actually, I think that's possible in this, isn't it? They could just simply skip cams. And why do you... Okay. Candy is really confusing me now. <laughs> like, he's... It's looking like he's going down the left pathway and gonna be, you know, pulling a Chester, essentially. But then decides to quit, like, last second and go to the right. Like... It's like, make up your mind, homeboy. There we go. <laughs> like I said, it's this playthrough so far has been rather fascinating. Not necessarily in a bad way, it's just been like, okay, hold the phone. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, this is kind of what I was referring to with the whole incident that he was referring to earlier. That I thought was what he was referring to, but not. Yeah. This is just absolutely gruesome. Like, I know FNAF's, like, actual story of, like, the kids getting stuffed in the suits is absolutely just, ugh. Like, this is so much worse. Like, if you know, you know. <laughs> but... Even still, it's just very, like, oh my god, you know? <laughs> it's, it's so, like, sad just to know what is happening to, in that moment. Like, we're actually seeing what's causing the, you know, animatronics to act the way they do, and it's like, okay, that's pretty dark. <laughs> but, yeah, anywho, this has been your captain speaking. I hope you have enjoyed, at least to some extent. Sorry, my brain just restarted like Windows. <laughs> this is going to be where we wrap up today's video. And in the next one, we're going to be picking up with Night 3. Uh, so, yeah, anywho, this has been the Captain speaking. I hope you have enjoyed, at least to some extent. There we go. And, uh, yeah, hope to catch y'all around in the next one. Bye-bye for now.